Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to my channel. I'm Megan Tatiana. This is my third video. I cannot believe it. For this video, I thought that we can do a cute little bronzy color and have a little smoldering eye moment. It'll be cute. I'm very nervous because I've never done it before. <laughs> so I don't know why I chose to do it, but we're going on this journey together. So... I've already put my brows on. They were getting on my nerves, so I decided to do them off camera. So I thought we could start with a foundation. How are you guys doing? I don't know what day it is today, I can't remember. I set my alarm because I thought I had somewhere to go this morning and I did it. So, how embarrassing. I hope you guys are having a more interesting life than I am. How are you guys doing during this quarantine? I know some states are pretty much open like normal. We're still very much not okay to be going out. No clubs or nothing. One side of my face done. I just want to know why you've made it this far in the video and you have not subscribed or liked the video yet. I'm not coming for you. I'm just like literally wondering like, is your phone broken or you don't know how to do it? Because I can come like, I can come show you how to do it if you don't know. It's like just like one button. So just like press it. Like, do you know what I'm talking about? It's like like red and it says subscribe yeah go ahead and do that so guys during this quarantine i've had a lot of time to think i've been thinking about like i really hate when i get foundation in my hair because i don't know why it's just like a huge pet peeve even though i could just like brush it out it really stresses me out i don't like it, it gets on my nerves but like i was saying i have been doing a lot of self-reflection lately a lot of things has happened to me in the recent that's caused me to self-reflect and think about who i am as a person what I want to who I want to be as a person because not necessarily who you currently are is who you want to be you know and I've just like been thinking long and hard about like what my goals are what my intention is and things like that and during my self-reflection I realized that at the time I didn't know what self-love was I kind of thought self-love was you know I actually didn't know I didn't I didn't pay attention to myself enough to I didn't give myself enough time Time to learn about myself. I moved out of my parents' house and I was kind of just like going through the motions. I was on autopilot. I wasn't really, it took a while for me to figure out what I wanted and who I wanted to be. And I mean like I moved out at 19 and I probably didn't know. I didn't know to self-reflect until maybe last year or the year before last. So I'll say 2018. So in 2018, I was 24. So that's how long it took me to realize like there's something not right and you need to make it right and that's when I learned about like love languages and things like that you guys know what they are the love languages I think there's five let's see acts of service quality time that's two something about receiving gifts acts of service quality time gift giving I honestly can't remember the last two anyway so basically the point of like the point of having these five love languages is that not everyone receives love or feels love the same way which makes sense like if we're all different you know we love others the way that we would like to be loved but that doesn't necessarily mean that that's how they like to be loved I feel like that's what happens a lot in in relationships people don't really know how to communicate appropriately how they want to be cared for or how they should be cared for but aside from that there's no way for you you cannot expect somebody to know your love language and know how to love you know how to treat you if you don't know how to love and treat yourself that makes no sense you'll never really understand what love is then you'll just kind of accept whatever and not saying that that person doesn't genuinely love you but it's more or less like are they loving you the right way or appropriately and that's not just that like that goes for all relationships that's not just that's not just romantic relationships with that being said I've been on this journey of trying to figure myself out and learning about myself that comes with a lot of patience time you have to be vulnerable with yourself I feel like I talk about vulnerability all the time but honestly the key to like healthy relationships is through like being yourself and allowing others to come in and 
and meet you halfway. There is something crazy going on with my cheek on this side. Can you guys tell? I don't appreciate what it's doing to me right now. I'm really about to throw hands with these cheeks. But yeah, so I've been spending more time with myself and I've been like thinking more and being more in tune with my thoughts. And what sucks is that like when you're growing and you, when you're focusing on yourself, it kind of makes you second guess certain relationships that you've had that maybe you'd never set boundaries for. It's not like you grow and then you automatically need to not hang out with certain people or be in the presence of certain people. It's more or less like you grow and you start to see little things that you didn't necessarily see before. And then in the middle of you growing, you kind of try to nip it in the bud. And it might make some people think that you've changed or like it might make other people uncomfortable, which is okay. I mean, it sucks. Like, any time that you lose someone in your life that you care about I don't feel like it feels good like it doesn't matter if it's the best for you or not that person has been there for a while like you're losing that stability and things so it's kind of like a hard process to go through but I have been in so much peace ever since I've learned more about myself and I don't allow certain situations or certain people or what have you anything outside of me I don't allow it to overtake me or make me I don't allow it to change my thoughts about myself and I think that's like just the hardest thing is realizing that you're not wrong for feeling the way that you feel anyway that's enough of that I just had some stuff to get off my chest guys sorry I feel like every time I get in front of this camera like I want to think about something deep and then I think I'm like Gandhi or something and then you guys are like I don't want to hear this anymore anyway we're going back to the Amrezy palette yes yes I'm excited again and like I said we're gonna do like this smoky I don't it's not even smoky I literally have no idea um I'm starting to think this is a trend okay so we're gonna do this like brown blackish eye blackish brown eye I don't know you guys just rock with me okay we are going to start with New Yorker New York I wasn't gonna start with it but like I said I don't know what I'm doing that's never gonna change have you guys ever been in New York because I haven't I'd be down to go Oh, I feel like I've been to a lot of states, but New York is not one of them. Blin, blin, blin. Blin, 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 blin. I just want you guys to know that I know you still haven't liked or subscribed. And I'm just saying, I think we're about halfway through. What is you doing? Okay. I gave you more than enough time earlier to do it. So, but that's okay. I'm not mad, you know. I'm gonna let it go. But go ahead, go ahead and do it now. I'll give you some time. We'll go ahead and blend while you like and subscribe. I really like this New Yorker color. I don't know why, but it's super things to me in Alicia Keys voice. Okay, so I'm going in with 1988 and I'm gonna start over here and then I'm gonna work my way up over there and then we gonna make it do what it do. I'm not, whew, this is a dark color. I'm a little scared, not gonna lie. So we gonna take it nice and slow, nice and slow. Look how dark that is, child. Here goes nothing. Seriously, I'm gonna need someone to write me a, like draw me up a contract. Someone's lawyers needs to be hitting up my lawyers because this musicality that I have is just unmatched you know like who have you heard that's better than me let's be real not even an arrogant thing I'm just saying guys you know how weird it is to talk to a camera and you in your room by yourself <laughs> I'm not crazy or anything I'm just saying I'm just saying it's kind of weird that's all right <sighs> so I got my liquid courage it gets me through. We're gonna go ahead and swing on over to the other side and pat that in. Still this 1988 color. Get it to where I want it and then go ahead and blend that baby out. Blend that baby out. It's gonna be blending for a while, child. For a while. Look at that. See? It just comes out. I don't even, I don't even try. It's just like, for a while. You know what I mean? I need to be on someone's payroll. Mm-hmm. I need to be hitting up the like concerts. Can you guys guess what time of night it is? I genuinely don't know. I really just want somebody to tell me what time it is. 
there's like no clock in here you know so and then i'm using my phone so i don't like know the time but it seems real active outside for the street lights being on i don't know why people are still out and about like they should be at home you know not being loud in the street what do you guys think so far you still rocking with me do the rock the way lean back lean back lean back all right okay here goes nothing we gonna start with this black black color it's called bk i don't know if that's short for black or oh, it's so dark Ooh, i'm scared mm, 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 mm. i don't want to put this on my eye because i feel like i'm gonna ruin it like i genuinely do not feel okay like within my heart of hearts to put this on my face <sighs> if i have to throw away the whole eye look because of this i'm gonna be real upset <laughs> oh okay positive thoughts prayers, vibes, whatever you rock with. Okay, you ready? I don't know why I'm so scared. I feel like I'm giving this black more power over me than it deserves. <sighs> Let's do this. Okay, alrighty. Okay, so it's here. It's made of presents. It's here. Where do I go from here? It's my vibe. Like, do I add some more? All right, I think it's gonna be okay, guys. I think genuinely, I'm not gonna redo it anyway. So it's gonna have to be okay. Do you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like you don't know. I feel like you think I'm joking and I'm not in the least bit. <sighs> guys it is on my face it is on my face what's it looking like that is dark i have never never put black on my eyelid i have never okay <sighs> i need the eyeshadow gods to be here with me today we're gonna do the other eye hopefully you know i have a tendency of messing up one eye but let's start pat it up pat 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 something about this dark black is sexy you like it I'm just a little stressed. This is like a high stress environment. All of this darkness. I'm getting tense. It's hot in here. Oh man. It's just a lot, you know? Like, people are outside being loud. <laughs> I gotta put this black on my face. I mean, I don't have to do anything, but you know. I'm just going through a lot right now. Like, I don't feel like I'm in a safe place. I'm just gonna blur these lines up at the top. So for this next part, I'm thinking that I want to go in with OG. So for those of you who have eyes shaped like me, it's best to go like over this crease just because our crease is very small. And so if you want to see like the color payout, you just have to go up over it a little bit. All right, we're gonna do it on the other side because we're restoring balance into the universe. Yes, be one with this eyeshadow palette and your heart. So, because we're doing like this smoky situation, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bring it down under my eyes. So I'm gonna go back with 1988 and then I'm gonna go ahead and put it under my eye. <sighs> What we do to one side, we must do to the other. We're one with the universe in this eyeshadow palette. I just thought about something. Um, did you guys like and subscribe yet? Because I just kind of feel like, I know, like we talked about it earlier and I just wanted to like make sure that we were like just on the same page. So just so we are, you should go ahead and like and subscribe because it helps me out. It helps you out. And for me, I think it's a win-win situation. So go ahead and win and subscribe and like. I went back in with the black. I know I said I don't do this, but I want to today. And I'm allowed to change my mind. So tired of y'all with the attitudes. I think I have an actual fear of powder because I really don't let that. <laughs> let it sit on my face for that long see this is why i don't like powder because it'd be forsaking me do you see that <gasps> <gasps> why do i always get stuff on me <sighs> i'm gonna go ahead with this pencil from Lancome and do my waterline like where am i going nowhere because nothing is opened i think it's a little shysty for this pandemic to come and roll up in everybody's lives and just ruin everything if you ask me another topic for another day all right let's go ahead and bronze i'm using the exact same bronzer that i use all the time because i like it and it's the only one i have so we gonna go ahead and bronze now that we've bronzed i have this milani blush that i've had forever it's their baked blush let's see it looks like that it's way cute marbly i like it it's in the color rose de oro de oro let's go ahead and use it how cute. I love this blush. Like, I feel like this is my favorite drugstore brand blush. I love Milani cosmetics in general. 
It's really cute. All right, you guys wanna glow tonight? You guys wanna glow tonight. You guys wanna glow tonight. I think we should glow tonight. I'm telling you, like, draw up the contracts. Okay, so this is the glow kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Sun dipped glow kit. What do you wanna do, bronze? You wanna do bronze? I wanna do bronze. Let's see, we'll do bronze. Nope, I was gonna mix them, but I don't want to. We're just gonna bronze it up. Bronze, bronze, bronze it up. Bronze, bronze, bronze it up. Bronze that highlight spirit up. Bronze that highlight spirit up. I am a jack of all trades. I'm obviously also a cheerleader. I just have cheers in my head. Feels so good. I'm gonna go ahead and do a nude lip and I'm taking the color Unveil in this Cinti. It's not a lip paint. She'll walk out the house looking like this. Who's gonna check me? Nobody. You guys gonna just keep walking. Okay, I am done. What do you like about it? You think it's cute? I like really like it and I think that I did a good job. And I look like I'm going on a date for sure, right? It's really cute, I like it. Should I put gloss on? Or should I rock in that lip? We'll see. I think that I'm gonna keep it like this. I think it's really cute. Yeah, I like it with the gloss. I am not a decisive person, as you probably know about me already. All right, guys, thank you so much for rocking with me for my third video. It's been a good time, it's been fun. I hope we learned something today. And yeah, I'll see you guys next week. This is so fun. Thanks for coming. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Have you subscribed yet? Mm -mm. <laughs> mm.